Alright folks, it's General Confusion once again, and welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 4. Of course it's General Confusion. Who else do you think it's going to be when you're watching a, a General Confusion's channel? In any case, um, since our last disastrous failure, since our uh, necromancer was murdered by an opponent who was actually a little stronger than I thought, I have messed around a little bit with the different classes, and I am going to be starting a new game today. We're going to go with Random Society, Medium Size, um, none of this really matters. I am going to actually enable the score graphs, just for fun. And I'm not going to set it to be wilder, but we are going to be playing as the the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is a character who collects. <coughs> excuse me. Um, like the Necromancer, you collect a secondary resource from hamlets and villages and stuff. In this case, it sacrifices instead of hands of glory. And uh, what you are doing is you are sacrificing humans to Baal the god of something awful and no not something awful the yeah, never mind you know what i mean yes he's the god of something awful the forums and you're sacrificing humans to them so that you can uh and he gives you giants and creatures and things and so you uh you spend sacrifices in order to get more powerful units and you can perform rituals that actually downgrade or destroy lesser settlements in exchange for more powerful units in exchange for giants and things, mainly giants. And so, uh, you have a lot of power at the cost of sacrificing income. So we're going to be the High Priestess. We're going to get four more. We're going to set them to Knight, um, because that's about the level I think I'm at. And we will get into the game. All right, so here we are, and wow. Um... Holy crap, we are, it is chock-a-block with people around us. There's a coal mine, an iron mine, a graveyard, a ziggurat, with a zamzomite in it. Interesting. An oasis. Lots of stuff. Okay, so here's me, General Confusion. I'm the High Priestess. I know Dark Prayers. I can call Spider, which is fairly worthless. I can cast Pain, which just does damage, and is level 1. I can cast Hellbind Heart, which takes two combat rounds to cast, and is an enslave spell negated by magic resistance. And I can cast Vengeance, which does two hits of significant damage plus a curse, and is level two. Then I also have this Hyroduel, who is a lower level caster in the Dark Prayers, who can call Scorpions and Spiders. Lame. I start at the Temple of Baal. Interesting thing. Uh, the Baalite units are actually slightly better, some of them. So the Baalite Spearmen, they're like normal Spearmen, except they also have a Javelin attack, which is pretty good. Uh, Baalite Archers are pretty much just standard Archers. Baalite Zealots uh, are pretty standard, a little bit more hit points than normal humans, I believe. And Baalite Heavy Infantry have quite a bit more hit points than normal humans. However, they are once again slow. They do have a large shield, so they're tough. Uh, also, this place counts as a temple. Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. So, you can see here, it increases the chance of being able to recruit Hyroduels for me. And in terms of army, I start off with not a huge army. I'm going to take both of my commanders with me. I'm actually going to leave the archers and take, like, seven infantry with me. And we're going to go take this oasis. So, lots of missiles being thrown around, summoned some spiders, I actually enslaved him. So this slinger is now one of my units, he only has three hit points, that's really unfortunate. And as you can see, this summoning spells, they just summon these tiny little pathetic creatures. Um, they can serve as chaff, but since they spawn at the edge of the map, it's not very useful sometimes. And I am now under attack by even more bandits and slingers. We'll see how this goes. I think it'll be alright. I might lose most of my infantry, though, especially if my my people insist on continuously summoning uh, spiders. There we go. Vengeance. That was a good one. So, I now own this oasis. In terms of special powers, my High Priestess can use Rituals of Mastery, just like the uh, Necromancer could. Lesser Blood Feast, which downgrades a smaller settlement, a village or a smaller settlement, in return for giants. And Blood Feast, which down, presumably downgrades a, a village significantly, 
in exchange for better units. And it's only possible in villages or larger settlements. So this one is only villages and smaller. This one is villages and larger. So that'll be interesting. I've actually never gotten that spell before. Uh, we're going to take that gem deposit as well for the money. That has five units. Um, not sure if I'm ready to take that out yet, but that is definitely a, a place I want to take. And I also own that village over there. That coal mine has been occupied by dwarves. Mm, okay. So, what I'm going to want to do here is build up my sacrifices real quick, and then go over to this village and sacrifice the village. Use Lesser Blood Feast on the village. What rituals do you have? Okay, so you have the Lesser Ceremony to Ball. So, this allows you to just use sacrifices to uh, generate units. They're not as good units as the units you get from the Blood Feast, but they are units still. Uh, even so, I'm actually going to take you with this army. Let's go up here and see if we can maybe take that iron mine. I'm going to take the rest of my infantry, uh, leave the slinger there, leave my archers to defend the, the castle. And yeah, let's take that iron mine real quick, because it'll give us a little bit of iron and a little bit more income. There we go. That's the vengeance I wanted. This captain is pretty tough. Alright, got him. And we enslaved the archer. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm not going to try to take the coal mine yet because those dwarves are a little bit scary. Let's end a turn real quick. I'm also frightened by this Zamzamite. Yeah, he has Dark Spells and Necromancy, level 2. So, woof. Wow. He is a little bit spooky, which is appropriate. Zamzamites were spooky in, uh... uh I'm losing my mind. Their Zamzamites are spooky in Dominions, too. Let's move back down here. Grab these Spearmen, and then let's go take this Lion Tribe Village. I think we can do that, right? Uh, this great ape. Great ape's a little bit tough, but we can take him. And then these are just lion tribe warriors. <coughs> yep, got him. Excellent. Okay, so we now have over 15 blood slaves. So. Uh, the Lion Tribe Village only gives me one slave per turn and two gold, and the village gives me three and two, so I am going to use... Why can't I use Lesser Blood Feast in the Lion Tribe Village? I feel like I should be able to. Does it count as larger than a village for some reason? Uh, one second. Okay, apparently I can't sacrifice a Lion Tribe, but... So, with the Lesser Blood Feast, we use that and we get these four Gibors. Which are basically just upgraded military units. They have Javelins that do high damage, 3 to 6. They have Spears that do really high damage, 5 to 9. They have 2 points of armor and a lot of hit points. And uh, Strength 6 and higher magic resistance and all that. So, we get them by using the Lesser Blood Feast in this case, and that then downgrades this to a Hamlet. Permanently. So we've now lost the income from that, including one sacrifice per turn. But, now we have a much more powerful army. So it works out. Um, those elephants stole my iron mine, which I'm not okay with. So we're just gonna steal it right back. And that boar is trying to steal my hamlet, which I'm also not okay with. There we go. Got some giant ants over there. Uh, let's... Let's take Atara out by herself. We're gonna move her into the desert and use the Lesser Ceremony to Baal. And you can see that summons much weaker creatures, but 
it, they don't require sacrificing a village to get. So, uh, a ridiculously large scorpion. Apparently it is nowhere near as clever as the overgrown spiders. Um, but it does a ton of... Its attack is armor negating the deadly sting. And it also does a ton of poison damage. So that's nice. It's just very vulnerable. Stop pausing. And then I, myself, will move out into the mountains, I guess. And see what I can see. I could recruit an assassin. Topagog the assassin. Hmm. Okay, I'll try it. I haven't really used assassins much yet. Uh, Atara, why don't you just kind of... Why don't you go patrolling to the south? And Topagog, join her, please. So yeah, just take the assassin with you. And I'll move over here. Just kind of trying to explore my surroundings. Many lions on this savanna, but ooh, hey, there's a farm and a hamlet. And a king's castle. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Why am I only getting one sacrifice all of a sudden? Oh, I lost my lion tribe village to something. And I'm being attacked on a farm by these patrolling units, crossbows and halberdiers. This might be nasty. Let's see how it goes. Because crossbows are pretty strong. Well, not strong enough, clearly. There we go. We actually came out of that positive on units. We gained one. So there's three giant ants here who can spray acid. Um, acid spray is a huge, huge problem. So I'm just going to leave them be for now. I'm going to go back into my fort. Meanwhile, General Confusion is going to take that. And then... Nine units here, including these mirrors that can release phantasms. I think I can take them, though. And I really want that village, so we're going to take them. Ooh, and the town of Kepria. Okay, so they're releasing some phantasms. That's okay. Oh, they released a bear illusion. And the illusionist is here with them. But I think, I think my Giborim can, can manage it. This archer has panicked. And I don't know why it's a turkey, but it's a turkey. But yeah, the illusionist is going down. There we go. Excellent. We won. Okay, so Mesenthius the Illusionist has been eliminated. We killed the last commander. Great. And now we're up to getting four sacrifices per month. That's a hamlet there. So these hamlets have been, these places have been converted by L. That's what that little cross means. And I think that means that no matter who owns them, they're still generating income for the Archbishop player. I believe that's what that means. But now that I've claimed all of these, my income will be buco bucks. And so I should also go down here and claim those. And eventually, as in pretty soon here, I'm going to want to take the king's castle. But in order to do that, I will need to start sacrificing farms. So let's go back down here and over here. Next turn, we'll take that farm and then immediately sacrifice it to the giants. Because it's just one gold. Uh, I just realized, ah, so we got an Anakite. Anakites are extremely tough. High armor, very high hit points, hit very hard. Unfortunately, they do take up a lot of space, so they're easily targeted down. Um, boy, those ants really aren't uh, really aren't moving, huh? <clears throat> really aren't moving. Let's go take that gem deposit back real quick. And as you can see, that farm has now actually disappeared. Let's claim that they've got cavalrymen running around. That is no bueno. Two crossbows and three halberdiers. Let's see if we can take one of these guys for our own. Uh, apparently we're just going to kill him. Okay, that's fine. A little bit of experience. And we're being attacked in a gem deposit. Shoot, the ants are coming after me. Okay, 
Let's see how this goes. Probably very badly. I would imagine that it will go very, very badly. Uh, yep, it went badly. It sure did. That ant might die of poison, though. Nope, he didn't die of poison. Okay, well, that was uh, entirely a loss then. Let's move up here. Uh, let's take out these cavalry. Just to get rid of them. We do still have some troops at home, so we should be all right. There we go. You can see our giants are actually quite powerful. And that is why they are worth recruiting. I hate these ants. I really, really hate them. Um, I am going to recruit some Ballite Heavy Infantry to help hold the fort. We're going to take that village back. Uh, at some point, we're going to want to take Kepria, but they have a Ballista, which is going to make it hard. And we also need to take that Hamlet back from Wolves. Yep, take that Hamlet back from the Wolves, and then the Gem Deposit back from the Troll. Let's recruit some Ballite Zealots. So now we have a pretty good grip of units back home. Kill the Wolves. Excellent, Wolves killed. Not going to bother recruiting an assassin. We're going to grab that gem deposit for the money. Move back down here. And we're going to go sacrifice that farm, since that farm has been recruited by L. Oh, hello, friend. Bumper harvest. One high lord and four cavalry. We can take him. If he gets fresh, we can take him. So, lesser blood feast. Another anakite. Excellent. I love anakites. And then we're going to go kill that High Lord. Oh, he upgraded it to a Mott and Bailey. Interesting. That's actually really cool. That's one of those abilities the High Lords have, if you'll recall. Um, but he also has a Robe of Shadows, which makes him ethereal. Interesting. We should still be able to win this, and that means that we will have a Mott and Bailey. Yeah, because we can blast him with magic, and that ignores his etherealness. Great! So now we have a Robe of Shadows to make us a little bit harder to kill. And now we have a Mod and Bailey that makes us more money and gives us sacrifices. I wonder, can I... I can Blood Feast here, but not Lesser Blood Feast. Okay, I might save up for the Blood Feast. Um, that troll has moved down. I think I'm gonna go kill the troll, because he is messing up my steez. Oh, sweet! Yes, I recruited him! Excellent, I, I enslaved him. Great, so that's another large, large monster I have. I have not gotten Hellbind Heart before, and it is proving incredibly useful. Let's grab that income again. Yeah, I know I'm just sort of in a holding pattern right now, but my power is actually going up as time goes on. Just because I'm uh, moving around doing cool things. Um, this Hamlet here... I actually want to save up for the regular Blood Feast and probably destroy a village with it. And I'm going to take that farm and that Lion Tribe village as well. I'm trying to get another commander, but I'm not getting any commander recruitment yet. Recruit some more Ballite Spearmen at home. And Edmund the Baron has been eliminated, so I must have slain one of his last couple commanders. And I got a hero in my village, so what has happened here? Unexpected hero with no items whatsoever. He's just an unexpected hero. But, and he can't command units. Okay. Go take that Lion Tribe Village, please. And you come join the party. Oh, they've got an elephant. That would have been pretty dangerous if I didn't have all these large creatures. Great. So, now we're gonna put him in your army. Let's move back up here. I do not like these halberdiers moving around taking my villages back, so let's kill them. And then we will sacrifice this hamlet to Baal. 
Great, got another crossbowman. Excellent. I like it. Love it. Gotta have it. Spring is here. So, let's do Lesser Blood Feast. Couple more Giborim. Lesser Blood Feast again, and another Anakite. Excellent. So that place is destroyed. Now we'll move up to this hamlet. And we ooh, we may be able to take Kepria. I think we probably can. If only I could recruit another commander. Let's get some archers. Uh, let's... So they have a ballista. See, it has this giant area arrow that's used in siege mode is the problem. Hmm. I think I can take it, though. I'm going to take Kepria. So it's going to get to throw its giant arrows at me. Did some pretty good damage, but fortunately the troll is regenerating through it pretty much. And my little spiders are soaking up some of the damage. So we're going to have to break down the gate, which the troll can do really easily. We've recruited one of the halberds. Recruited one of the archers. That troll is doing a really good front line. Just an excellent impression of a wall. Great. Yep, and we got it. I don't think we even suffered any important casualties. We lost a Giborim, I think. And we can recruit a Hyper Duel. So let's recruit Bariel. And now we have Kepria, the town of Kepria. So we will use Blood Feast here. And what did that give us? It gave us an Anakite Captain. Oh, it gives us a commander. Who's a little bit stronger than regular Anakites. Okay. Cool. And three Anakites. Oof. And now it's a village. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Rishon, why don't you take the Anakites with you? And you can go... Go take back that gem deposit first. And then... General Confusion herself can move back down here. And we'll sacrifice this hamlet next, because since it's been converted by L, and so is giving them money. And I don't like giving L money. Uh, meanwhile, let's take all these guys and all these guys and like seven of those guys, and let's finally go kill those ants. Yep, kill the ants. Kill the ants, please. Kill the ants before they kill more of my troops, please. Thank you. Also, what spells do you know? Ah, you know Pain. Excellent. Pain is a good spell. We are definitely moving on up in the world. So now we've got Rishon with all of his Anakites. Uh, there's another Lion Tribe village. Let's go take that Lion Tribe village back and then take that one. And you down here. Claim the gem deposit and then next turn the Lion Tribe village. Great. Things are going well. Things are going so well for me. Uh, we'll recruit yet another Hyradul, because why not? Get that Lion Tribe Village. Get that Lion Tribe Village. Get that Coastal Hamlet. And, ooh, there's a port, mainly archers. With a captain and one spearman. Do I think that six Anakites can take them? Probably so, to be honest. Oh, they're immobile and stationary. Fascinating. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of think I do. Let's, uh, let's take Fire Bay. Build up our sacrifices. And since I do have a little bit of trade, I'm going to start buying iron. No, actually, I'm going to start buying sacrifices. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think the Anakites can do this, because they just don't take much damage from arrows. And once they get into melee, it'll be all over but the crying. <clears throat> how do you miss a gate, by the way? 
like occasionally one of my guys will miss a gate and I'm like, it's stationary. How do you miss it? Yep, just clear them off, boys. Clear them out. Thank you. Excellent. Great. Uh, the Lion Kings here, by the way, don't do anything. Very much unlike the ones in Dominions, who are actually pretty good. I love having a troll, though. That was super lucky. Okay, so we are doing pretty well for ourselves, to be honest. We've got a number of things going our way. Uh, I want General Confusion actually to move up back to this. Oh, somebody took Capri away from us, the bastards. Let's get you to, because you, you legitimately can't blood feast in here. Disappointing. Um, that's a coastal hamlet, farm, hamlet. Why don't you go destroy that farm? Just feed that farm to giants for me, please. You can do the lesser ceremony, which I don't really need at the moment. Why don't you go exploring a little bit? And you, uh, just stay here. Go back up, reclaim Kepria for the glory of us. I don't think, yeah, I have no action points left. Uh, is there anything down here, or is this just the edge of the world? I think that's just the edge of the world. All right, get some Gibors. Excellent. And then go burn down this hamlet as well. You retake Kepria, please, and kill these animals. Anakitum. There you go. I will also want to take the king's castle here pretty quickly, but they have... Ooh, they've got a bishop. They've got an archbishop. A golden wizard who knows golden magic. They've got a hero with the crown of intimidation. Wow, this place is tough. And they've got Sigebert the King. With the Club of Dreams. Okay, so I've got to be pretty, pretty tough before I go take that place. My Mott and Bailey? Freaking ghosts stealing my castles? No respect. No respect at all. How dare they. Okay, so there's ghosts just in my castle. There we go, that was easy. Uh, kill those giant ants real quick. Actually, the modern Bailey has walls, so it's kind of nice to have. So I'm actually going to transfer my archers and then let's say four Giburim. Let's actually leave all my injured guys here. Uh, and my crossbows to help defend it. And then I'll move up to Kepria. And yeah, Gabrusius, you can just, uh, sentry. That'll be fine. Great. Just I'm just gonna run through a couple more turns. I'm hoping to get up to the point where maybe I can take the king's castle this game, this uh, this session. But I don't know that it'll be. I don't know that it'll happen that way. And let's blood feast in Capria. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got two Ditanu who are undead. <coughs> Excuse me. Who are undead. I mean, like in Dominions, the Ditanu are basically undead Anakites, but better. They're pierce resistant, they have a shield, they're ethereal, and they hit like trucks. Then let's Lesser Blood Feast to get a regular Anakite. And again. Okay, okay. We can. So we've now burned this village to the ground. 
But we can absolutely... I think we can take the king's castle. I think we can do it. Admittedly... Admittedly, our Ditanu might be banishable. But I feel like we can take this. I feel like we can. They've got a lot of knights. Their knights are going to be rough. This is 32 units. I think I need more units. I think I have to... Uh, I think I need to sacrifice some more some more places. Um, I would also like to take that ziggurat. What I actually what I should do is I should go take the ziggurat because I think I have the uh, the oomph to do that now. Definitely think I have the oomph. What I also should be doing is I should also be recruiting. And who took my iron mine away? Ghouls. You go guard the fortress for a minute. You kill the ghouls. You head down to this hamlet. And blood feast in it. Is there anything cool about ghouls? Um, they can disease you. Okay, fair enough. I don't think anybody's diseased. Oh, this Anakite is diseased. Oof. That is rough. Okay. So that Anakite will die unless I use him fairly quickly. Uh, we are going to blood feast this place to death. Then go kill the halberdiers. Let's kill these goblins. You... Uh, sit tight, actually, but I do want to... I think what I'm probably going to do is... I'm going to get these two ladies together, and then I'm going to move them in on the ziggurat. And that will probably be a good place to end things. Is it you that's diseased? Yeah, you are, you're, you're diseased. Okay. Get rid of these halberds and crossbows. They suck. They suck a lot. Okay. We got them. And now... Let's recruit... Uh, some zealots. Let's grab these units, and let's get both of you to attack the ziggurat. Alright. Let's do this. So this Zamzamite has... Oh, baby. So he can boil blood. He can call spiders. He can sap strength. He has the Bolt of Unlife, Wither, and Banefire. Ouch. This is this is a big reason why I didn't want to... I, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, actually, I don't want to bring any of my valuable units in here. Because this Zamzamite will ruin them. Like, he's ruining these units right now. Okay. Oh, and we found a robe of invulnerability. Yeah, the robe of invulnerability just doesn't... just means you can't be hurt by most attacks. Uh, I'm gonna put that on... Well, actually, I'm going to put it on General Confusion is what I'm going to do. And then I'll put the robe of shadows on Rishan. So let's assemble back here, actually. Ooh, there's a farm. Cool. And let's transfer units. Uh, I don't want, because Yamina is the one with the robe, so she needs to go, so... Bariel, take all of them. Uh, that's fine. So Bariel, you go back here. Reach Yamina. You need to go up there. Oh, you were ambushed. Oh, no. Ambushed by ghosts, who of course have a touch of the dead attack that is not counteracted by the invulnerability, so... Well, okay, never mind. I was worried for a second. Never mind. I can blood feast here, so actually just hang out for a second. Rishan, go take that farm. 
and Blood Feast. Another Anakite Captain. And five Anakites. Wow. Wow. Uh, Nimrod, why don't you take the... Ditanu and Anakites here. <laughs> I have so many... Never mind. Never mind, actually. Just, uh, just take Nimrod with you. And Rishon, gather in this hamlet. And Yamina... Go up there, and then the Robe of Invulnerability you are going to give to her. Uh, Yamina, Robe of Invulnerability, give to her. Never mind, can't do that. Okay, so first of all, we need to give the Robe of Shadows to him. Yeah, the Robe of Shadows, give it to him. Oh, he doesn't have a body slot. That's right. The Anakin, they're giants. They don't have body slots. Man. Okay. Yamina, go back here. We're going to have to do this an awkward way. This is one thing that I don't really like about this game. It makes this process unnecessarily complicated. Okay. So we've given the Robe of Invulnerability to Gabrusius. Gabrusius is going to go up here. Now he... Now Yamina is also going to go up here. So now Gabrusius. Now General Confusion can give the Robe of Shadows to Yamina. And then Gabrusius can give the Robe of Invulnerability to her. Great. And then Gabrusius can once again retire to his lonely retirement. And then General Confusion can take everybody, all of everybody, and end the turn one time. And now we're going to attack the king's castle. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, these cavalry have stolen my lion tribe villages, but I don't really care. Whew. Cross your fingers, folks. All right, so. In the green corner, defending the castle behind the iron gate, we have a line of knights whole bunch of archers. We've got a bishop who can who can banish. Shoot. We've got a bard who is has local leadership. We've got an archbishop who has greater banishment. That's really bad. My Ditanu are going to suffer here. Mass conversion, regular conversion, and resist magic. We've got a golden wizard who can cast lots of area of effect fire damage. And we have this hero with the Crown of Intimidation, and of course we have the King with his Club of Dreams. In the red corner, attacking the castle, we have just a whole bunch of freaking giants. And a troll, led by a couple of spellcasters in the back. Let's see how it goes. They're throwing arrows at us, they're casting Fire Ward. I said they're throwing arrows, you I mean they're shooting at us. Hurling fireballs, they've converted one of my Gibors. That's okay, converting a Gibor, I don't care all that much about. They are doing a lot of damage though, wow. But we've burned down one of their knights. The troll is bashing at the gate. Oh, the, uh, the Anakites are on fire. He's not having much luck converting the Anakites. Uh, the Ditanu have already been banished. I think I might have missed that, but it's happened. Troll is charging forward to engage the knights. Lots of fire going into the back line. That troll is getting dunked on. Absolutely dunked on. Uh, hold up. Did I die? I died. I must have. When did I die? Right there, Golden Wizard hit me with a fireball, and I exploded. Okay, then. Okay, then. So, the High Priestess is dead. Uh, Hyroduels can become High Priestesses by using, I think, the, the, the Rituals of Advancement or whatever they are, so... It's not entirely over yet. But this might have been a bad idea. We'll see. Uh, I am certainly taking casualties at a rate that is much too high. 
but my Anakites are very tough, so they might manage to cut their way through. Or not. Or not. Oh, I do still have a... I actually do still have a Ditanu back here. It's the narrow gate is what's defeating me right now, which is fair. That's what narrow gates were designed to do. Uh, okay, yes, yes, please. Bite them. Bite them with your scorpionness. We've killed a couple of the knights now. But I am running critically low on Anakites. Critically low. And he is not running low on knights yet. Uh, ooh, poisoned 37. What's his poison at? Poisoned 5. Uh, probably might kill him. But yeah, I've lost. I don't have the units. I did not have the the power to pull this off. I didn't have the... Didn't have the force. I underestimated the power of the spell casting that the defenders could could bring along with them. Although, I have killed off almost all their spellcasters. They've only got this one bishop left, and he is poisoned and going to die. So, I mean, could have been worse. I mean, I guess I might just barely pull this off. If I'm lucky, I might just barely pull this off. Uh, oh my goodness. It will be kind of hilarious if I manage this at this point. I think I'm gonna. Wow. It's the scorpions. It was the scorpions that did it because they climbed the walls and poisoned everyone. Wow. Wow. Okay, folks, we did it. We're the king now. <laughs> what does the pile of gold mean? There's a library, all kinds of things here. Uh. Okay, well. That was, uh. That was certainly a thing. There's no commanders left. They all died. They took her out at the last moment. This Gibor now has the Club of Dreams and a Robe of Invulnerability. <laughs> Maybe I'll make him the commander next. But in any case, um, I think I'm gonna cut this one here. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it was an interesting... Uh, yeah, interesting, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. An interesting start to the playthrough. Uh, we are going to push through on this one. Bariel is now our, uh, the next best hope for humanity. We can recruit in the King's Castle, so we're just going to recruit some, uh, recruit some zealots there. Recruit some spearmen there. Uh, so I'll, I will see you next time, and we'll see where this one goes. Take care.